Tesla are building 500 kilowatt superchargers, but this story is actually a bit more impressive than it sounds for one very interesting reason. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Tesla superchargers. They're installing 500 kilowatt superchargers at less than $40,000 US dollars per stall, which is way cheaper than any of the competition. This is the big thing here, cost. What does it cost you to build a, an actual charger? Is it worth the money? Uh, I mean, it, it's going to add up, right? You want to build a supercharger network. Let's say you want to build a thousand of them. Well, if you're paying double this price, it becomes quite expensive. Tesla already operates probably the most expensive and reliable electric vehicle network in the world. But Tesla's director of charging for North America said the EV maker is going to up their game significantly. Tesla is not not just rolling out more powerful superchargers, it's also rolling them out at extremely low costs. Recent comments from Tesla director of charging for North America, Max Dezeger, says the company spends only forty dollars to $45,000 to install one 500 kilowatt supercharger stall today, which is incredibly cheap. The numbers that we've seen show that most rivals to build out, say, like a 350 kilowatt charger, it's either double or triple that cost, and sometimes even four times that cost. And actually, sometimes even five times that cost. I mean, for example, right, there was a news story yesterday that New York Governor Kathy Hochul has um, provided the New York Green Bank and Ravel a $60 million, uh, basically, payout to build 267 new charging stalls in New York City. So $60 million for 267 charging stalls, well, that equates to 225,000 US dollars per stall, 225,000. Tesla's saying our charges, which obviously are much faster, they're not responding to New York, but they just, you know, release this information. Our charges, which are much faster than those, 500 kilowatt, will only cost around 40 to $45,000 per stall. The difference is truly staggering. So the question is, when are these 500 kilowatt charging stalls going to be actually built? We've got a a tweet. Do you still call it a tweet? I don't know. Max has said from Tesla, engineering is working weekends on it, aiming for first pilot sites for 500 kilowatt chargers in the United States in the third quarter of this year. Despite increased capability of up to 500 kilowatt per stall, we should be able to deploy it for less than $40,000, less than $40,000 per stall. Now, if Tesla can do that, and I'm guessing they probably can, considering we know that Tesla's supercharger costs are lower than everyone else in America by a long way already, then this is going to be very difficult if you're one of Tesla's rivals. We know Tesla already is building mega pack batteries, putting those at many of their supercharger locations, putting solar panels at many of their supercharger locations. So Tesla can use solar, plus they can get electricity from the grid when it's really, really cheap and put it into their batteries and then sell it to you at much, much, much higher prices. Imagine if you could do that. With, imagine if you bought a gas station or a petrol station. Imagine if you bought one and you could get petrol, right, for like five cents per litre and then resell it at, say, two, three, four, five dollars per gallon. I mean, the business model would be insane. And this is the business model that we're looking at here with Tesla. Now, what I think is really, really cool is there are no no current Tesla vehicles that can charge at 500 kilowatt. In fact, there's no electric cars in America that can currently charge at 500 kilowatt. But there will be. There will be. I mean, Lucid's new Gravity SUV that charges at, what, 450 kilowatt, I think, something like that. There's quite a few cars. Apparently, the Tesla Cybertruck can charge at around 400 kilowatt, I've heard. It's been tested in Europe, can do that. But Eventually, we will have electric cars. It will be common and normal for electric cars to charge at speeds of 500 kilowatts. It's becoming more common in China. We know there's numerous models now in China, particularly ones from Zika out of the Geely umbrella that can charge at 600 kilowatt. We've seen them charge in the real world from 10 to 80% in 9.4 minutes. So this is the future of electric cars. Really long range. People will never be complaining about range anymore within 10 years' time. And also incredibly fast charging. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments.
This is pretty cool, right? Lucid, a car company that I don't believe will be around in 10 years' time from now. But anyhow, that doesn't really matter, does it? Or does it? Well, they've just unveiled their incredible platform. Now, we know the Lucid Gravity is a, a very efficient electric SUV. It's unfortunately only available in the United States right now. But hey, it does look really good. Lucid have been talking about how their efficiency is groundbreaking, rah, rah, rah. That's really cool, right? However, the technology behind this is actually significantly better than I think we originally first thought. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. 2025 is going to be an incredible year. And thank you for, so, for supporting us, uh, the channel, and the movement towards electrification. But by becoming a YouTube member, I really appreciate it. I'll put a link in the description below. Lucid Gravity's SUV's 926-volt platform. Very similar platform, actually, to BYD's brand new platform in China. It allows, though, for 400 kilowatt fast charging, which sounds incredible, and it is. I mean, this is the fast char fastest charging EVs you can buy in the United States. But in China, there is more than 10 models now. Uh, in fact, more than that, 20 models now that can charge faster than that with 600 kilowatt charging, and even some say 900 kilowatt charging. Anyhow, this is still really good. Lucid's second model will offer 450 miles of EPA range and bi-directional charging of up to 19.2 kilowatt. That's enormous, guys. What that means is that's essentially vehicle to grid. You don't really need more than 19.2 kilowatt at your home. In fact, you would never use that unless you had like 100 air conditioners on. So Lucid is basically saying you can use bi-directional charging in our EV to power your house because 19.2 kilowatt is more power than 99% of households would ever use. I'm talking 19.2 kilowatt instant power. So you don't need more than that instantly. A month after Lucid announced pricing for its Gravity SUV and started production of its second EV, the brand has revealed more details about its new class-leading charging technology. Now, Lucid to say that this is worldwide class-leading, it's clearly not true, but it's definitely class-leading in the United States. Underpinning the gravity is a 926 volt architecture that allows it to charge up to 400 kilowatt while plugged into a suitable DC fast charger. Well, if you can find one, there's not many of them in the United States. I, in fact, don't know of any 400 kilowatt chargers in America, but there's a lots of 350 kilowatt chargers. So it'll charge very, very fast on one of those. The new Lucid SUV can still charge at up to 225 kilowatt plugged into Tesla's V3 superchargers. So apparently at peak charging speeds, Lucid says the gravity can add 200 miles of range in less than 12 minutes. That's 320 kilometers. Yeah, it's very good, but it's like I said, it's nowhere near up to its Chinese rivals. That said, I mean, how fast do you need to charge? That's, that's fast enough, I think, for 99.9% .9 of people. 